Just a minute. That's strange. To Catherine from Grandpa Robert. Grandpa Robert? He hasn't sent me a birthday gift in 20 years. Thanks for coming to Ireland to visit Grandpa with me, sis. Hopefully, I'll figure out what's causing these dreams. They're so vivid that I started drawing them. Ever since our grandfather sent me that gift, I've had dreams of an old abandoned house deep in a forest. I hear our grandfather Robert calling out for me, but he's so quiet. I think he needs my help. I see a strange man with a piercing gaze somewhere in the hills. He makes me uneasy. Then I see the amulet that Grandpa sent. In the dream, it speaks, calling my name. I don't know what's happening to me, but I'm scared. Don't worry, Catherine. We'll figure this out together. I can't believe it. Grandpa's house is the one from my dreams. But it's in ruins. I hope he's okay. We've come so far. We have to find him so that we can find out what this amulet has to do with my dreams. I brought it with me. Here, take a look. Come on, I can't wait any longer. I must find out about these dreams. The house is in terrible shape. How can Grandpa live like this? Why would Grandpa do all this? I have more and more questions for him every minute. Let's look around for something to disable the traps.
Oh my! What happened here? This seems like a dead end, but I can't just give up when we're so close. Wait, in my dreams, there was an old tree near Grandpa's house. That must be important. Let's look for it, please. Look, it's a part of the amulet from my dream. Help! Whew. Oh, thanks for the help, sis. I think I'm all right. It can't be a coincidence that I found that part of the amulet in a place from my dream. Let's try to put the amulet parts together. Many years ago, humans found an ancient amulet in a river in the Irish hills. The amulet revealed the truth about the hills, that they protected the magical world of the seeds. The seeds were friendly creatures who had mastered magic. They trusted the humans and began teaching them magic. But the harmony did not last long. A child was injured during a lesson, and the humans were divided. Some said that magic was too dangerous, but others still sought its secrets. Settle. Who are you and how did you get in here? Are, are you my granddaughters? My god. How much time has passed? You've grown so much. How did you find me? But I didn't send you anything. An amulet? Oh no. The seeds must have found it and sent it to you. Only our family can use this power. And now that you've removed the protective amulets, the seeds will find me. Girls, we must leave quickly. The seeds must be watching you. We can use a secret exit, but we need three special books to open it. Please, help me collect three red books with the Rowan symbol on them. He... he looks... 
looks like the man in my dreams. Barricade the door! Did you find the books? I will tell you everything once we're safe. We must go quickly now. We were attacked by the seeds, powerful creatures who have mastered magic. I don't know how they return to our world, but I know what they're looking for. They want something that I'm sworn to protect. We can try to escape in my truck, but I haven't used it in a long time, so I'll need help getting it running. One of you should hang some amulets around. They'll buy us some time. Grandpa, I've had terrible visions of one of the seeds. I have so many questions that need answers once we're safe. Sis, I'll help with the car while you hang the amulets. The seeds are getting through my defense! Hang as many amulets as you can! Good work! The magic will slow them down a bit, and the truck is almost ready. But we still need a few parts. Please, check the toolbox. This will help you open it.
Mama, I'm scared. Why don't you just give them what they want? Don't worry, my dear. I won't let them hurt you. But if they get what they want, everyone will be in danger. Now get in, and I'll tell you everything. We have some time, so I'll answer your questions. Here, take my notes. It's time to tell you the truth. The seeds were once imprisoned in the hills to keep their magic from harming us humans. And for a long time, we were safe. Our family guards the keys to those hills. And for years, I've lived in fear that if the seeds returned, they would harm you, my girls. So I disappeared from your life, hoping that I would be their only target. But my plan failed. The newspapers have been reporting mysterious attacks on citizens. I investigated it and learned that not all of the seeds were imprisoned. Those that roamed free were looking for a keykeeper to unlock the hills and free the others. Stop right there, stranger. We have to make sure you're not one of them. Sorry about that. We had to make sure you weren't a seed. They can disguise themselves as humans, but a special powder made of Rowan can reveal their true appearance. I'm Jim. Who are you? And what brings you here? The seeds took your grandfather and sister? I knew your grandfather. He tried to warn everyone. But I'm the only one who took him seriously. In fact, he's the one who told me to use Rowan on them. We'll find your family, but we have to learn more about the seeds. Your grandfather mentioned an order that opposed the seeds. I know their lair was somewhere in the chapel, so that's likely our best chance at finding information on how to defeat them. I've been there, but I've never found the entrance. Maybe you'll have better luck. And the chapel should be safer anyways.
I heard you were looking to search the chapel for information about the seeds. Yes, our chapel hides many secrets. I'll help you unlock the door if you find me some food for my little friends. Thank you. You're very kind. I'll do what I promised, but I want to warn you. It won't be easy to find the Order's archives. According to legend, they're hidden in a secret room, and no one has found it. Here, this will help you unlock the door. That's all I can do. You won't find what you're looking for here. Let my granddaughter go, or I won't say anything. Where did they go? Maybe they're in the secret room.
After the townspeople divided, those who supported the seeds began to build beautiful bronze statues honoring their magical mentors. But when the seeds touched the statues, the bronze burned their skin, and the humans learned that even powerful creatures have weaknesses. Their opponents used this new knowledge and created the Bronze Order, intending to destroy the magical beings. They took me through the tunnels under the chapel. I don't remember the way, but they had a map. Try to find it.
Please get me out of here! Thanks. The seeds, they... they looked like that man in my dreams. They had the same strange symbols on their faces. Let's find Grandpa and get out of here quick. Gotcha! I told you we don't trust strangers. Now, let's find out why your grandfather kept you hidden for so long. Sweetheart, it's you! I'm glad you're okay. Catherine and I were kidnapped by the Seeds. They said they'd hurt her if I don't tell them where the keys to the hills are hidden. Please, hurry to find Catherine. I'll never forgive myself if something happens to her. Catherine turned into a Seed and ran away? My God, she must be terrified. I know how to help her. We need to find her quickly. Until Catherine learns to control her magic, she's a danger to herself and others. But first, we need to find a way to get me out of here. I'm sure there's something useful around this cave somewhere. After all, members of the Bronze Order used to train and prepare for battle here. Legend says that only the source of life, located in the seed's world, can grant or deny a seed magic. I'm sure we can use it to restore Catherine's human form. We need to get into the seed's world, but we need to be careful that the seeds don't follow us. I hid the keys to the seed's hills in the forest, and only a special amulet can help someone find them. So I took apart the amulet and hid the pieces throughout the city. Unfortunately, the seeds used their magic to find and combine the amulet pieces. But that's also when they learned only members of our family can use it. They couldn't find me, so they sent the amulet to you. I'm so sorry, my dear. I really hoped they'd never find out about you. I'll fix everything. All I have to do is find Catherine. Now, let's find a way out of this cave.
way is clear. It's a shame that I lost my bag in the chapel. It had an artifact inside that could help us get into the world of the seeds, unnoticed. You found it! There's a magic ring in this box. Putting it on makes you become... Save Catherine! I'll distract them! Don't worry, the ring will protect me! I'm sorry I ran away. I, I was just so scared. I can't explain what's happening to me, but I feel like I'm getting stronger here. Let's look around and find out why this place calls to me.
While hiding in the caves, the Order began to develop bronze traps and weapons. They would use them to attack the seeds at the perfect moment. When the Bronze Order attacked, all magic wielders sided with the seeds. They started using magic against the Order, and a great battle ensued. The Seeds King could no longer endure the loss of his people and brothers. He decided to end the bloodshed and led his people to the hills, closing off the Seeds world from humans forever. It seems that whatever called to me is behind this wall of fire. I'll try to hold it at bay while you get what it's guarding. I know we can do this together. So this is what was calling to me. The key to the Seeds Hills. Now I know where we should look for the other keys and the Fountain of Life. I can finally become human again. You have until dawn to bring me the keys to the hills, or you'll never see your little sister again. Here, catch. Our meeting place is marked on the map.
Many people didn't agree with the king's decision, but his brother Malian was the angriest. He believed that the Seed should rule the human world instead of hiding in the hills like cowards. Malian defied the king and went alone to the battlefield. That's when the Order caught him and used their secret weapon, turning the king's brother into a statue. Remember, your sister's life hangs in the balance. just smugglers who wanted to get rich. We traveled the world in search of gold and jewels, but all of our attempts failed. Then, one day, we found a lone statue with a precious medallion on its chest. We each wanted it and got into a fight, one that ended with the death of one of our members.
Before becoming a statue, Malian used his last bit of strength to cast a spell. When the last member of the Bronze Order dies, I will return. Then we shall rule the world. The King of the Seeds took all the magic from the human world. He gave his faithful friend the keys to the hills so that he could ask for help if Malian's promise was ever fulfilled. Just a bit more, and we'll be able to see the incredible world of the Seeds. Malian promised to make us powerful seeds if we help him find the amulet to open the Seed Hill's entrance. We restored the amulet and found all the keepers of the keys to the hills. We'll force them to open the entrance and then Malian's plan will be complete. There will be a fight, but we'll make our enemies lay down their weapons. Then we'll rule the world of humans.
Sis, the people chasing us are just ordinary smugglers. The only seed is Malian, the Seed King's brother. He promised to give the smugglers magic if they help him find the keys to the hills. Malian wants revenge and to conquer the world for his people. We can't let him succeed. Hurry, set me free before his assistants come back. Malian was telling his aides about his brother Amalon, the King of the Seeds. He says Amalon's weak because the King wants a truce with humans to avoid bloodshed. I'm sure that if we find the Seed King, he'll help me turn back into a human and save the world from his brother. Malian said that only a Seed can see the entrance to the Seed's world. Give me the amulet and I'll try using my magic to find the entrance. Who are you? And how did you get into our world? You? You're a seed? I'm the king, and I know all my subjects. But I've never seen you before. We're the granddaughters of Robert, the Keeper of Keys. I used to be a human, but I turned into a seed after Rowanberry powder was poured on me. I don't know what's happening to me. Our grandfather stayed to distract the seeds who were chasing us. He said only you can help me. Your human form can only return with help from the Fountain of Life. It's sacred to my people. It has incredible power. But if the townspeople started hunting the seeds, it can only mean one thing. My brother Malian's curse has come to pass. I'm sure he'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. We must keep him from reaching the Fountain of Life. He needs it to regain his former strength and carry out his final plans. If he succeeds, both our worlds will come to ruin. Brother, we meet again. Not even you can stop me this time.
Quickly, help the King of the Seeds! I'll hold them.
I can't move. Malian took my power. You must stop him. The fountain will give you the power you need. <laughs> you really think a mere human can stop me? You're welcome to try. Can't be. My magic. It's leaving me. Thank you for your help. Our worlds are safe now because of you. I'll take care of my brother now that he can't harm anyone. It's time to fill your request, Catherine. But are you sure you want to lose your magic and become an ordinary human again? I'm going to close the hills off to humans, so you won't get this chance again. But if you stay with us, I'll teach you how to use magic. I have no doubt you'd become very powerful. I promise to help answer all of your questions, especially the most important one. Why did you become a seed? Sis, I'll regret if I don't stay. I need to find out why I became a seed and what my magic can do. Once I figure that out, I'll decide which path is right for me. King Amalon, Will I be able to see my family? I'm afraid you can only return home as a human, but then our world will be closed to you forever. I understand how important your family is to you, so I'll teach you how to create a sphere that shows where your loved ones are. Try to find out where your grandfather is now. I'm so proud of you, my dear. You saved two wonderful worlds. Catherine, I understand your choice, and I hope you'll find happiness in the world of seeds.